Hi Capricorn, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your August 2022 tarot reading. This is a reading for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for all the support. I send you love and appreciation every day. I think of you every single day. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are different every week. Today's reading will be a more detailed Celtic cross style reading. Um, but then next week it could be something totally different. It could be a law of attraction tarot card reading, a love reading, or last week I did quick reads because somebody asked me to. So anyway, if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Capricorn? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Capricorn need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Capricorn? Messages for Capricorn, please. All right. So we'll start here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers. Current situation, you have the Five of Wands. Oh boy. The immediate influence is the High Priestess. In your subconscious, you have the Ace of Wands. In the distant past, you have the Eight of Cups. The more recent past, the Ten of Pentacles. You have the World, I'm sorry, the Wheel of Fortune coming towards you. You have the Lovers represents you. The Three of Wands represents the person or situation that you're attracting. I like this. Wow, this is pretty cool. You have the King and then the Queen. Of pentacles in the outcome in the in these two last positions again 78 cards here it's not easy to have cards come out right next to each other that is it, very interesting you had it almost close again here with the empress and the high um jesus yeah the empress and the hierophant i'm sorry i almost said the high priestess but this is kind of interesting i mean when you look at this she's at three we've got two three five the emperor would be in the middle of these but I'm telling you, there's something important here. Follow your intuition. It's going to be highly important. This is going to be a highly intuitive time when you have especially the immediate influence of your current situation as the high priestess with the hierophant who holds up his hand, their counterparts, and says, be still and know. Those of you, too, if you're seeking something in terms of love, you've got a great love reading here. You know, when we... Um, <clears throat> when we look at this, I mean, we could do it a lot of different ways, but you're represented here by the lovers, which is also right after the Hierophant. The Hierophant's a marriage card. And of course, the Empress is ruled by Venus, ruled by love. You have multiple marriage cards here. So very interesting. <clears throat> Pardon me, Cap, um, Cap, I had a little bit of a allergy thing going on here. Well, okay, when we have this coming out, talk about true love going on here. So we have Four major arcana, but we've got quite a bit of earth here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We've got Taurus here multiple times. We have Gemini here. Um, we have, let's see, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo showing up. So I do want to say with this, I mean, if you're in a relationship, this is going to be serious, especially with the lovers. I mean, this is a relationship that changes your life. It is going to be something on your life path. This is going to be a time in your life where I feel like everything is aligning. Now, for some of you, too, you've got excellent aspects for money and career with that king and queen and ten of pentacles. It's going to be huge. So with the empress, she's also the creator and multiplier of forms and ideas. It's an energy where you're very creative, but she lives in luxury. She has an abundant energy. So again, you're going to feel like with the wheel of fortune, that's like the lottery ticket of the tarot. You cannot catch a struggle here. So for somebody, you're definitely going to be in flow at work. Now, the Hierophant also is about higher learning. So some of you, if you're doing any kind of teaching, mentoring, um, especially with the Hierophant and the Empress together, it's going to be gold. I mean, it really is your life's purpose. You're on your life's path. And some of you, too, if you're beginning something new with the Ace of Wands in your subconscious, it's going to feel magical. It's like this is exactly what you've asked for. But Again, the Four of Wands is that 11-11 card, a card of great synchronicities, and it's also a card of freedom. 
you know, they're celebrating. It is a wedding. It's a Hindu wedding ceremony. Um, but they leave a walled off city to walk into this open vista and it's beautiful. So I do feel like with this in a relationship, you have, you're attracting somebody that might be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, but I do feel like they're also very ambitious. You're an ambitious sign. So are they. You're going to have very complimentary energies. I just feel this magical kind of passionate energy. Well, okay, so this is kind of interesting. Your current situation, you've got a little bit of chaotic energy around you here with this um, five of wands energy. But with the, the high priestess, you may find that you're more of an observer because the high priestess is not going to get involved in the middle of a conflict. She also um, brings out secrets and illusions. I mean, she knows the high priestess will not be fooled. She sees right through it. So if you have something going on with a move, you have cards of definitely making gains with money, anything you'd be purchasing or buying, use your mind. It's a very intelligent energy with the high priestess. She's also the Pope of Joan. So the Pope of Joan was a young woman who masqueraded as a man to be a priest. And so she teaches us to be true to ourselves. So if you feel like something is not right, if it's too good to be true, if you're making some kind of a large purchase, again, speak up, speak your mind, sit back, analyze, but then speak up because there's something about you mitigating the conflict with this five of wands. And so the um, high priestess also, the hermetic teaching is prima materia. Matter comes from the mind. She represents law of attraction, bring, bringing heaven to earth. So somebody, you've got this new cycle. And if it seems like you've kind of been swimming against a current, in this new cycle, it's going to go a lot easier. It's definitely in flow, a very abundant time for you. So again, it, if it feels like, especially with work, you've been running to stand still and just not feeling like you've been compensated, you know, really fairly, I definitely see that as changing because you for sure have money coming in. So to anybody who's selling a house, I do feel like you're going to, I get a sense of relief, but I definitely feel like you're going to be enjoying the money that shows up here. Well, with the Ace of Wands in your subconscious, it's definitely an energy of taking action. But the Ace of Wands is like ma wave your magic wand. And so you're feeling in this, you're going to be excited about any new endeavors. Aces are about initiation. And you might feel a little bit antsy, like you just want to get started with new things. You're not looking to fix the old. Now, somebody here, you are attracting a partnership in terms of a, a love match, somebody in a relationship and with the Ace of Wands, you have great chemistry. Never a dull moment here, but you just seem to quit, click. I feel like those interlocking pieces to a puzzle. It's somebody coming in who is, again, it might be a fire sign like we talked about. Um, but boy, they sure do make sense with you. Now, also too, though, in career and money, I just feel like you're going to be on a great path here. So even if you are making some changes in terms of selling things, just changing something up financially, it's going to make you feel not only secure, but wealthy. I mean, you've got multiple wealth cards coming in here. <clears throat> Pardon me. So with the eight of cups here in the distant past, you may have made a change a while ago or even mentally, spiritually, and emotionally changed on this path, really getting in sync with your life's purpose. So those of you that the Hierophant represents higher education, now the Hierophant is also unity. It also represents um, the card of unity and devotion. So I also feel like to those of you, if you left a relationship that just was fine, but it just wasn't really what you know your heart desires. With this, you bring in, this is very high in terms of commitment, again, that devotion, but a marriage, okay? So somebody here, again, if you were kind of going through relationships and just none of them seemed to pan out, with the Hierophant energy, you've got something coming in that's really beautiful. So the Ten of, of Pentacles here is the Wealth card. I mean, this is a fabulous energy in any reading, but it's very harmonious energy too. It's also about leaving a legacy. So I do feel like any moves that you make are going to have long-term effects. You've got long-term, long-lasting financial gains here, and it might feel like it comes out of nowhere. With the Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune, you get an email, you get a phone call from somebody, some kind of a solicitation about a job move or a job opening, extra, even extra work. Or like I said, selling something. If you have a house and you decide to sell it, 
and you weren't thinking you were going to, and it's like this whirlwind of energy, I definitely feel like you're going to make some money here. Tens are about dominion, realization, and perfection. So with this, you are going to feel the brilliance of the Ten of Pentacles. And again, it really is that energy where you can't catch a struggle. So those of you too that are in a relationship or are getting involved in something, when you're in love in that, in, to that extent, you know, re in real love, the other problems just seem to dissipate. Life gets easier. You kind of don't get so focused on the small day-to-day -day things and things seem to get into flow really fast with this. So with the Wheel of Fortune, it's definitely a cycle in your favor. You're in the right place at the right time to meet the right people. And so for some of you, you're gonna if you're single, you're gonna be meeting somebody soon because with the High Priestess, um, she is oftentimes considered single. But with the Empress being here too, the High Priestess is thought to be, the Empress is thought to be the High Priestess impregnated by the Magician. So just so you know, that can also be metaphorical though too for just having great ideas. But again, I do feel like your life is really going to pick up with this where you're going to be out too, out and about having more social interactions, getting invited to more things. This is also too a card of travel. So get yourself ready for that, those of you, because you're going to have the money to do it. Those of you, too, that end up getting some kind of a refund, because it feels like unexpected money with this, um, may use that for travel, where it's a little more money than you thought you'd be getting. I just keep getting this, like a, seeing a check, somebody getting a check for something. Well, <clears throat> the lovers comes in, and it tells you you are absolutely on the right path. The lovers is inner and outer harmony in all areas like we talked about it is an absolute match so for some a job change it's going you're going to be right on track and i do feel like it's almost like a second family where you really feel comfortable there capricorn like you really feel like i like going to work every day i'm excited about this i want to be with these people now for others of you too especially with the hierophant and the empress like we talked about it is a marriage and the four of wands it's a marriage card. It's overcoming any problems. So especially if there is a distance issue going on here, I do feel like one of you is going to move. It almost feels more like it could be them. But then again, like I said, I feel like you have money coming in too. So if it's you and you end up selling a house to move and be with somebody, you're definitely going to have some residual cash from that. Um, but with this lover's energy, you know, that mountain indicates fertility as well. So you have it with the Empress, but you have it here too, by the way, Archangel Raphael. Um, so with the Three of Wands, this is a card of expansion. This is a situation or person you're attracting. So I do feel like anybody you're attracting, they do see a future with you. They want to grow your lives together. And I do feel like travel is a part of the relationship. Like that's something that lights them up. It's something that they have a real passion for. The Three of Wands, so it's a card of success, but it's also taking action. So I do feel like there's going to be some activity, some movement. Those of you, too, that may be on a career path move, you've got both the Three and Four of Wands here. And so Wands are wonderful for expanding your career. They're all about upward gains. They're not just lateral moves. I mean, this is the upwardly mobile of the tarot. So you're definitely going to make gains there. Then we've got this great King and Queen of Pentacles. How crazy that they came up together. You have an absolute match here with this energy, with the both the king and queen. You have somebody here, like I said, who's going to be ambitious like you, who is going to be somewhat practical with money, but also liking nice things. And that's okay, too, as long as we can afford to buy them, right? And with this, you will. This is absolute abundance, but it's also commitment. So in terms of any change, any job or relationship, it's going to be a long-term commitment. And some of you, too, with this queen, you're going to be, in terms of the physical body, she is looking good, feeling good, feeling confident. And she's also, too, with this, this is also like a card where I feel like somebody here, anything to do with a house where you'd be redecorating or <clears throat> making things, <clears throat> pardon me on that, I've got a bit of allergies, a little bit rainy outside, um, really making things exactly how you want them, okay, with this. I do feel like, too, there's somebody here, that doesn't go to bed until their house is completely clean. I do get that for you. And that's okay. You know, if that makes you feel good in the morning to get up and see that, I feel like you're attracting a partner who is the same way. You don't leave things undone. And so anyway, let's get going here with the angels. This was a fun reading. It's a great energy. 
I mean, there's zero negativity anywhere here. All right, let's see what else does Capricorn need to know, please. <clears throat> Advice for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, what else? You have here, it's up to you, okay? So, of course it is. It all comes from within. Ask your angels, ask, and they will tell you. You have improving health. So, somebody, especially with these pentacles, that's like we said about the physical body as well. You're ready, they say. Now, you've got, choose a new direction. So, when you get this, Again, know what you want, but you take one step, let the universe take two and do the heavy lifting because you can have, do, or be anything, Capricorn. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.